Hello, good day. Today we are going to discuss achieving competitive advantage with information systems. The following are the learning objectives. How do Porter's QFU courses model, the value chain model, synergies, core competencies, and network based strategies help companies? used information systems for competitive advantage. How do information systems help business globally? How do information systems help businesses compete using quality and design? What is the role of business process management in enhancing competitiveness? Porter's competitive forces model the five competitive forces that shape fate of a firm. First is the traditional competitors. Competitors in market space continuously devise new products, new efficiencies, switching costs, new market entrants. Some industries have low barriers to entry. Porter's model is the best known model of competitive advantage. Now, more than 30 years old, it still provides a nice summary of the strategic situation of firms in a larger, larger business environment. The model focuses on industry structure or the environment of the firm as the main determinant of management decisions about corporate strategies. Managers don't just make up strategies out of thin air. They look at the competitive situation in their industry and then consider ways of coping and succeeding in that environment. We have here number 3, Substitute Products and Services. Substitute customers can purchase if your price is too high. For example, Internet Music Service versus the CDs. Number 4 is the Customers. You need to ask yourself, can customers easily switch to competitor's product? And lastly, we have here the suppliers. This figure shows the Porter's Competitive Forces model. In Porter's Competitive Forces model, the strategic position of the firm and its strategies are determined not only by competition with its traditional direct competitors, but also by four forces in the industry's environment. New market merchants, substitute products, customers, and suppliers. Information system strategies for dealing with competitive forces. Basic strategies is to align IT objectives. Is to align IT with business objectives. Seventy-five percent of businesses fail to align their IT with their business objectives, leading to lower profitability. In the physical retail industry, including groceries, the key to success are efficiency in moving products through pipeline, minimizing inventory and time delays between receipt of the goods and the customer purchase. Product differentiation. Use information systems to enable new products and services or greatly change the customer convenience in using your existence pro existing products and services. Focus on market niche. Use information systems to enable a specific market focus and serve narrow target market better than competitors. The strengthen customer and supplier intimacy. Strong linkages to customers and suppliers Increase switching costs and loyalty. Some companies pursue several strategies at the same time, for example, the Walmart, Apple, and Amazon. Successful, successfully using IS to achieve competitive advantage requires precise coordination of technology, organizations, and people. Some firms pursue multiple strategies although many pursue a single strategy. Apple, for instance, pursues highly differentiated products 
that it sells at a premium price. It rarely, if ever, pursues a low-cost strategy. The internet's impact on comp competitive advantage. It enables new products and services, carries substitute products, lowers barrier to entry, changes balance of power for customers and suppliers, transforms some industries, and creates new opportunities for creating new markets, building brands, and large customer bases. The business value chain model. It highlights specific activities in a business where competitive strategies can be can best be applied and where inform information strategies are likely to have a strategic impact. This is the value chain model. This figure provides a sample of systems for both primary and support activities of a firm. Let's value partners that would add a margin of value to the firm's products or services. Extending the value chain model, the value with a firm's value chain is linked to the value chains of its suppliers, distributors, and customers. The phenomenon where several firms operate with one another in order to put together for a customer a single product or service goes by many names. At times, this has been referred to as extended firm, the virtual firm, the contract firm, and so on. To a large extent, Business firms have always been dependent on their suppliers, logistics, logistics partners, tracking and railroads, and distributors, including retails. But in the internet age, this kind of dependence and cooperation takes place much more broadly and continuously. A small internet company often works with a design firm thousands of miles away. A software firm on different continent and sells its products using Google AdWord program. The customer service the customer receives a single product or service which was co-produced by many firms working together closely. This figure shows the value web. The value web is a network system that can synchronize the value chains of business partners within an industry to respond rapidly to changes supply and demand. Synergies, core competencies, and network-based strategies. Synergies means when output of some units can be used as inputs to other units. Other competitive strategy models don't focus on business process and value chains, but instead focus on the core competency of a firm. Most times, we don't think about the, what firms are really good at. But the idea is for the firm to focus on what it really does well, better than anyone else. And to focus by being the most efficient producer of best quality products and services, at the very least, firms should not be involved in a host of businesses where they are at least which are players. The role of IT in these models of competition is usually as a tool for achieving best in-class products and services. This I can include using IT as a collaboration tool, coordinating tool, and knowledge aggregator or store for the firm so that knowledge can be widely spread. Core Competency Activities for which firm is world-class leader. It relies on knowledge that is gained over many years of experience as well as knowledge research. Network-based strategies We have two, network economics and virtual company. Network competitive strategies focus usefully on internet opportunities and companies. Here, the emphasis is on products or services that can go viral. That is, take advantage of the fact that there are millions of people online and they generate positive mess messages about your product. In a few hours, several million people will know about it. This explains why some services like Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube have grown with truly happy stick curves. Another different internet strategy is to use the internet to find partners and collaborate to can magnify the power of your smaller firm. Disruptive 
technologies. Most technologies throughout history has been disruptive in sense that their use produces superior products and services at a fraction of the cost. Certainly, automobiles were a disruptive technology a hundred years ago, which rather completely eliminated the bulky industry. The internet is no different in rendering certain industries obsolete and unable to compete. The internet and globalization. Certainly, one of the more disruptive impacts of the internet has been to spread jobs out across a world labor market. With industrial jobs moving to the lowest wage countries, in the past, communication barriers were so severe that it would be impossible to coordinate product and service development in both US and China or India. Today, with instant internet communications from email, chat, and video cameras, the cost of operating globally has fallen, and even small firms work on a global basis today. This figure shows the Apple iPhone's global supply chain. Global Business and System Strategies there are a lot of ways to set up a global information system. A lot depends on the type of company. Most companies today have large data centers spread around the world to handle their information needs on a regional basis. Some are more centralized than others. Generally, the trend was to allow regions considerable autonomy, but this strategy backfired as firms sought the efficiencies of a single global product service and database. We have here the global system configurations, centralized systems, duplicated systems, centralized systems, and network systems. We have here the figure on the global business organization systems configuration. What is quality? Surely one strategy is to produce the highest quality product, social service, and charge accordingly. Information systems historically have played a key role in the quality movement by enabling the measurement of quality and helping managers model and optimize business process. How information systems improve quality? Reduce cycle time and simplify production process. Benchmark use customer demands to improve products and services, improves design quality and precision, and improve production precision and tighten production tolerances. You need to remember that technology alone is often not enough to make companies more efficient, competitive, or quality oriented. Organizational changes are often necessary from minor changes in work habits to redesigning entire business processes. That would be all. Thank you.